What's up guys, SlaughterFits back here with another video. This video we are doing something a little bit different um, for you guys. This video I am going to be comparing um, the mods on PS4 to the mods on Xbox because I recently switched over from PS4 to an Xbox Series S and I was blown away by the difference in uh, selection of mods and the capability of mods on Xbox. I was personally unaware that there was really any difference between PlayStation mods and Xbox mods. I knew uh, PC mods were, you know, a lot more, you know, advanced and could do a lot more stuff usually. But I thought, you know, all console yeah, mods were somewhat the, the same. Dog. Shut up, guard. I thought all console mods were somewhat the same, but um, no, I was very wrong. Um, I was blown away by the mods on Xbox. So, I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick look. You know, this is obviously on PS4 where I do most of my builds. Um, this is my King build from a couple videos ago uh, that I just hopped on to show you guys real quick. So, um, you know, believe it or not, this is, uh, you know, not vanilla Skyrim. Um, this is actually with a, you know, a handful of visual enhancements, both in lighting and weather and effects, as well as textures and, you know, skin enhancements for people and stuff. And, I'm gonna be honest, it looks around the same as Skyrim. Basic, normal, you know, special edition, you know, Skyrim. I don't know what to tell you. I mean... You know, when I turned them all off, I would say the color palette is a little different and some things look a little less crisp. But, you know, I have, you know, all the highest rated, you know, texture mods on the, uh, you know, mod network. And, you know, it looks, looks alright, I think it looks good, but, you know, it looks like, you know, Skyrim on a newer console. Um, and the PS4 is not, you know, really new anymore, but you know what I mean. You know, it looks about as well as Skyrim, you know, usually looks for most people. Um, and so, yeah, um, you know, and the mods, you know, I'd say for, you know, armor and weapons on PlayStation are much more limited um, than what I found on console. Um, I would say that basically all the mods I really see are kind of just, you know, reskins of existing content that's in the game and kind of just retextures of existing content. Like, you know what, I'll show you guys an example. Let's look at this real quick. So guys, this is a mod that I think does a pretty good job of kind of summing up what most of the mods on the PS4 uh, database look like or are. You know, no hate on this mod and no hate to whoever made this mod. It looks good ish um but you know this is kind of what most of the mods are on ps4 just basically a frost ice texture put over ebony and called frost ebony you know most uh most armors are kind of somewhat like this or just like you know blank armor but it's in all black or blank armor but it's gold or something you know there, there's to be honest, there, most, you know, mods are kind of like this. There are very few kind of environmental or world-changing mods that actually look good. I'd say the the best uh, mods they have on PS4 are probably weather mods, and all the same mods are available for Xbox. Um, so, yeah, not, uh, you know, not a ton of selection for, you know, new mods. I mean, we can just kind of, you know, look around. I mean, it's kind of stuff like this dark brotherhood but it's in all white um you know i did a video on this one you know elven but it's in all black kind of just retextures and frankly you know these mods could be legit but every mod i've downloaded on ps4 that is something more kind of out there like this usually just doesn't end up working or it doesn't look nearly as good as it does in the photos all right, what's up, guys? Back here on, uh, you know, my Reaper build from a couple videos ago to show you guys um, some more of what the PS4 mods are looking like. Um, yeah, so I would say this is probably my favorite and probably the best-looking mod I've gotten on PS4 that I haven't seen on uh, Xbox. And it is not much. It is a enhanced Riverwood. I would say this is the best looking mod I've gotten. And it's basically just adding more trees and more kind of nature effects to Riverwood. 
frankly, it looks better in, uh, you know, brighter, uh, better weather, but, uh, you know, this is about the extent of it, you know, kind of adding in more trees and retexturing existing items with existing textures, uh, not a ton of, you know, I don't know why, I don't know if somehow making mods on PS4 is harder, I know nothing about creating mods, um, but that's kind of the extent of it, this, I think this rain effect might be from a mod, the True Storms mod, perhaps, um, but yeah, I mean, this is the kind of the extent of it. I mean, to be honest, you know, this is kind of just what PS4, you know, mods look like. And this is what mods look like on Xbox. Uh, immediately much better, more realistic sky textures, and the grass looks a lot better. And if that shot wasn't doing it for you because, you know, it's just a fairly still shot of the sky, here's me walking through White Run at night. There you can see this amazing sky uh you know space scenery um i've never seen a mod look quite that good of the night sky on ps4 and you know just walking through the town of white run there is a lot more you know variation in mods on xbox of you know armor you can see here i'm wearing uh, a, you know a mod that changes the uh, iron armor to something more unique a lot more variety in color. Um, I don't believe these fallen leaf textures are in base Skyrim. This is a mod. You know, these grass textures. Just a lot more of, you know, environmental building. Uh, you know, adding new elements to the world instead of just kind of retexturing existing ones. Um, basically, all of the, you know, environment mods I've seen on PS4 have just been kind of like repainting the ground so it looks more green or kind of re retexturing the existing trees so they look more i don't know fitting a certain you know color palette opposed to the uh mods on cons or on xbox are a lot more you know completely adding in you know new grass mechanics and you know physics and you know as you can see here um th this is showing off just some more retextured i have a retextured mod of uh Windhelm. Sorry about that, guys. I'm in a room I don't normally record in, and I wasn't expecting the fan to turn on. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, this is showing off some retextures of uh, Windhelm, or it was a second ago, and now it's showing some shots of me running through some grassy plains. I think these this grass uh, mod I have is one of the more realistic ones, I'd say. Um, I'd say it really has... Um, change kind of how the world looks um even from like the map view uh the world looks like way greener and more lush and you know i think it just helps with the kind of you know setting the tone a little bit more and making you know a difference between the kind of cold you know short you know frosted grass that's in you know the higher elevation parts of the map versus the more kind of lush long you know grassy plains grass that's in more of the white run uh, area because you know that's something I've thought since a kid that is kind of lacking is that kind of lush grass and I kind of had to use that my imagination to imagine you know white run like that and here's some shots of inside a tavern where you know some you know improved textures of course as well as some improved uh you know clothing and armor textures and some unique te or unique items of course uh, like that one guy was wearing a you know cloaked helmet Here's some combat to show you some more of the kind of, you know, new armors that come, don't come, but, you know, are available as mods for Xbox. There's really nothing quite like this on uh, PlayStation, basically on PlayStation. Like I said earlier, you're just going to find, you know, reskins of existing armor types. Opposed to this, you can see, I mean, I have a mod where I, I replaces, you know, the what bandits normally wear with this kind of bandit wear you're um, seeing them, you know, wear. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm holding a technically an iron axe in this, um, you know, footage, but, you know, obviously it's been made to look different and fit a more kind of medieval, more realistic aesthetic. And, you know, you definitely don't have to go for this aesthetic. I've been kind of trying to turn my game into lo a little bit more of a medieval, almost like oblivion looking game, but that's not the aesthetic you have to go for. There's just way more, you know, variation and variety in general in the, uh, you know, Xbox version. Uh, you know, just like I said, you know, just to kind of summarize, 
a ton more options and just a, a lot more capability. Um, I'm not sure how mo you know making mods work, so you know maybe I'm gonna make myself self sound like an idiot. But I also do notice that many of the best mods on the Xbox uh, mod uh, you know menu uh, say in the description you know something about oh I didn't make this mod I just ported it from PC. Oh and here's a good look at uh, some inside uh, Windhelm Castle. Here's Ulfric in a new texture for his. Uh, his garb, and here's uh, his general guy coming out. But anyways, you know, most of the mods I see say something about, uh, you know, this is just ported from PC, I'm not the original creator of this mod. So it makes me wonder if maybe, you know, PC to Xbox, you can kind of just convert them, and it's easier to convert PC mods, and maybe that's not really doable on PlayStation. If someone has some more insight on why Xbox mods are so much crazier, you know, please feel free to comment. I would find it interesting. I definitely read it. I read all the comments. Um, but yeah, um, so probably just going to, you know, go ahead and wrap it up, end it here. Um, and just say that, yeah, I'm, you know, don't really fully have an explanation for it, but the mods are way better on Xbox. So if that's something you like and you're interested in, I would definitely uh, recommend maybe getting an xbox if you don't have one or getting skyrim for it if uh you didn't already and so uh yeah let me know what you think of this video guys if you want more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one all right peace